Hox Cyril the Corrosive, a seven mana Demir slug token creating board wiping commander. Hello everybody and big welcome to a CDH Tech Tech video for Toxeril the Corrosive. First off, you need to talk about the elephant in the room and that's the 7 mana cost, which is quite a lot. And we're gonna talk a lot about that soon, but first, the big thing about this commander is that it is a board wiping commander with also a card drawing function inside it. Now it's only two colors and that's a downside, but it's the best two colors. Or well, it's the most important colors maybe. Because you get access to Fasa's Consult with this. We also get access to the Black Amazing Spell Ad Nauseum. And now suddenly we have a great game plan going for us. Here we can also obviously add cards like Peer Into the Abyss and Dark Confidant. That perfectly fits within the concept. The only thing we're kind of lacking right now is red. I mean just imagine those amazing red rituals. What if we had access to Dockside and Jeska's Will? That would have been amazing. And also, don't forget Breach. But we don't get that. We get Demir colors. So what is the point here? I mean, we get Demir, we don't get Grixis. We get a 7 mana really expensive commander where we could get something of a less commander. Like a Kess on a CMC4. The point is that big board wipe capability. That is also joining into with a card drawing ability on only 2 mana. If you compare that to, let's say, Frasius, that is 4 mana to draw a card... Toxiril is only two mana to draw a card. Okay, you do need to acquire those slug tokens, but that's actually quite easy. You see, you're putting a slime counter on all of your opponent's creatures at every end step, including yours. So when you're casting this, you're getting a slime counter on everything. In the next opponent's end step, they're putting another slime counter on everything, and each creature gets minus one, minus one, as long as this remains in play for each slime counter on them. So for one turn cycle only, you're going to give all creatures minus four, minus four. And there are very few creatures inside Siege that actually survives that. I mean, just imagine if you're going up against Boros Vinota, that is a 4-4, with all of her annoying hate bears that is usually really good at dealing with your kind of stuff that you want to do, your Adnos Storm combo. Well, Vinota is dying by just one turn cycle. She is a 4-4. Toxeril is basically built to kill decks like Venora. I mean, just imagine you're playing another Grixis strategy Odnos deck like Blue Farm. Now, Blue Farm is gonna suffer from Venota and all of her hate bears. You have to sit there and manually kill them with Swords to Plowshares and Bound Spells or a Cyclonic Rift to get rid of all of them. Or what about Consult Kess? She doesn't like hate bears either. She also has to kill those somehow during the gameplay. While with Toxeril, you have all the answers for all creature problems from your command zone at 7 mana. But that 7 mana is going to deal with all of your creature problems. But this is where your commander is gonna synergize greatly with your plan A, peer into the abyss. You could use those rituals to either get your commander in play or your plan A win con peer into the abyss. This also happens to be at 7 mana. And because you have all the solutions to deal with all forms of creatures, you don't need to put a lot of spot removals for creatures inside your deck because your commands don't have all the answers that you need so rituals will literally deal with your opponent's creatures i know that it sounds strange but your dark ritual is literally going to interact with a hate bear like an archon of emeria while at the same time that dark ritual could be used to cast your peer into the abyss in the end having toxeril as the commander literally gives you more space Toxeril is actually quite similar to Armix Chrome, basically doing the exact same strategy, but including that red for that Dockside, for that Jeska's Will, and for that Breach, Brain Freeze, Lions of Diamond combo, where Armix is great at actually killing creatures by just attacking, discarding cards, and giving minus one, minus one. Toxeril, on the other hand, is like doing it a little bit better. Now, we want to include as many rituals as possible to power out our commander ASAP or get the peer into the abyss to resolve. And here, red rituals would have been amazing because there's a bunch of those. Now, some of these might be a little bit tricky. For example, cooling the weak, which is requiring that you do have a creature that you sacrifice. Well, you could sacrifice one of your slug tokens, but that requires that you've already ritualed into play your commander. Otherwise, you have to cooling the weak, maybe your dark confidant or some other creature. So this is actually one of the rituals that maybe shouldn't be inside a deck. But High Tide should definitely be inside this deck. We're playing only two colors, that means we're probably gonna have a lot of islands. And at the bare minimum, if 
high tide becomes equal to right of flame one red mana to gain two red mana for a high tide example pay one mana one blue to gain two blue that is fine but high tide could scale a lot here you're probably gonna have a few islands in play when you're costing this making it into a big ritual we also have high tides black partner bubbling muck which is basically the exact same thing sorcerer speed instead of instant speed and it's swamp instead of islands then we have phyrexian tower that is a land so you can tap it for colorless mana that's fine but you can also tap it sacrifice a creature to gain two black mana well basically a ritual then there is a really weird blue ritual energy tap one blue mana tap an untapped creature you control add a bunch of colorless mana to your mana pool equal to that creature's casting cost for example in this case dark confront definitely a creature we're gonna have inside the deck would generate two colorless mana and if you for some reason would use energy tap on toxeril that's seven colorless mana we can also be a little bit creative here using frantic search and transforming it into a ritual it's a card that is absolutely decent on its own free mana to draw two discard two then untap free lands it's basically free mana but if you're able to increase the mana production of your lands frantic search becomes a ritual but you can easily increase frantic search consistency by simply adding lands that are already tapping for double production like ancient tomb all right so we've been able to ritual out our commander now what the answer is grind them out draw more cards than your opponent by activating that secondary ability sacrifice a slug draw a card because you're creating slug tokens whenever a creature dies that had a slime counter on it basically if you're killing nine creatures with this you're getting nine slugs i mean just imagine if you're casting toxeril against someone that has flooded the board with nagella tokens nagella's worst enemy might actually be toxeril this is honestly insane i mean if your meta is flooded or filled with nagella variants or decks that are just packed with creatures toxeril might just be mwah, the perfect meta call the perfect commander to bring to that pod but what if you run into a scenario where no one is casting any creatures we don't get any slugs and we can't draw cards now there is an awesome solution to this and how to include must have land forbidden orchard when you tap this you give away a creature to an opponent and then you kill that creature and generate a slug and then you sacrifice that slug and draw a card even though we have this land the card draw inside the stick isn't actually perfect because what usually happens is when you get your toxic in play is that your opponents basically don't cast any creatures you board wipe those that are in existence you generate a bunch of slugs maybe you attack a bunch of people with your slugs and so but then you're gonna sacrifice a slug and then you aren't gonna get more but there's nothing stopping you from putting a bunch of card draw cards inside this deck something you should probably should do anyway and then because you're so good at killing creatures the rest of the deck should basically be packed with a bunch of counter magic to stop those non-creature spells so to summarize the deck you could really say that it's one rituals and fast mana lots of those mana rocks soul rings mana crypts and dark rituals second a whole bunch of counter spells third the combo consult ardnos peer fastas the tainted pact the lot then card draw or just whatever cute cards that you want to have inside your really big awesome toxeril deck now if you want to see in detail card by card exactly how i put this deck together as always, in the description below of the video, there's a link, or actually there's gonna be two links, one to my friend's Jordan's decklist, and second to my own personal decklist. Now that's it for me and this slug. I hope you learned something new or got inspired in any form of way. See you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you want to support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG player's website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.